welcome back to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle and Etiquette. I'm Juliana. Today, I would really like to talk about how to be professionally prepared for the workplace. Why? Because we are having soon summer and there will be so many fresh graduates who will be entering into the workplace. And we'll also have people who may be taking some internships. So I'll give you some basic points and I hope that will prepare you for the workplace. One, know the proper business introduction etiquette rules. Why? Because the first rule is actually the introduction that it is made. So generally, a lower ranked person in business is introduced to the higher ranked person and not vice versa. For example, let's say Mrs. Smith, who is the executive. So I would say, Mr. Smith, I would like you to meet our new analyst, Billy Bay. Billy Bay, this is Mr. Smith, our chairman. Second, if you introduce yourself to another person, provide them with a bit of information. Why? It is so important, apart from stating your first and last name, to you know associate you with something and it helps always the people to remember you and associate you with whatever you stand for three stand when you've been introduced unless you can't then demonstrate a gesture of standing elevate yourself a bit from the seat four always have business cards or nowadays a scan QR code on hand. You never know whom you'll be meeting. Five, listening and watching is key, especially for newcomers. You can learn a lot just by listening and observing, and you can avoid a lot of mistakes. Six, keep business conversations short and to the point. Seven, be always on time. Punctuality shows respect, for you don't want to steal other people's time. 8. Remember, your boss always gets the last word, whether he's wrong or right. 9. Treat everyone with respect, regardless of their position in the organization. You never know who will be asked for a position you are applying for and whether you are the right fit for that position. 10. Be generous with work credit, especially if you work in a team. Make sure everyone on the team of a project is appropriately rec recognized. 11. Dress appropriately. And when I mean dress appropriately, it's not about brands. It's not about having the most expensive outfit. It's about just be well groomed. 12. Always have a can do attitude and not I can't, it's not possible, no. I think, and it's very, very important at the workplace, work ethic will really improve, improve your reputation at the workplace. 13. Stay flexible in order to adjust well to changes because that shows you're a team player and willing to do what's best for the company. 14. Do your best effort to inform your boss about a good or bad information from an unwanted source, for example. You really don't want your boss to be surprised or go over his or her head. So doing this may sabotage your career. That's why making your boss look good will be appreciated and may lead to your future success. You never know. I hope you liked all these simple tips, I hope. And in case you are still with me, thank you so much for your time. And if you like, please like, share to anyone who may need that, subscribe and stay tuned for more to come. Stay safe and thank you.